Hai, Assalamualaikum everyone. Good morning. Okay, apa khabar semua? Okay, hari ni kita teruskan lagi dengan topik time but involving division of time. Kita dah habis dalam multiplication. Hari ni kita masuk bahagi masa dan waktu. Hari ni kita belajar days and hours and week and days only. So, look at question number 1. 12 days, 9 hours, divide by 3. So, kita buatlah rumah bentuk lazim ni. 12 days, 9 hours, divide by 3. So, kena buat 3 times table. Here is 3 times table. So, 12. 12 divide by 3. Okay, ada 12. Ambil 12 kat sini. Minus. Okay, 12 duduk yang ke. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 kat atas. 0, 0 habis. So, kat depan ni jawapan dia 4 days. 9 divide 9 divide by 3. Okey ni ada 9. Ambil 9. 9 duduk yang ke 3. So minus dapat 0. Jawapan dia ialah 4 days 3 hours. Tapi jawapan dia nak in hours only. So 4 days ni kena convert. Convert. Hmm, convert to hour. 4 days kena convert to hour. So, 4 days equals to how many hours? Okay, 1 day how many hours? 1 day 24 hours, kan? 1 day 24 hours. Kalau 4 days, 24 times dengan 4. 4 times 4, 16. 2 times 4, 8, 9. So, jadi 96 hours. So, jawapan ni 96 hours ke? Hmm, tak. 96 kena tambah dengan 3 ni. Jangan lupa. Okay, so jadilah 9, 9, 99 hours. Don't forget to plus with 3. Next, question number 2. 9 days, 4 hours, divide by 4. So, bentuk lazim. 9 days... 4 hours divide by 4 so kena buat bentuk lazim uh, sorry kena buat sifir 4 here is 4 times table so 4 divide sorry 9 divide by 4 ada tak 9 dalam sifir 4 tak ada kita ambil 8 so 8 duduk yang kedua 9 minus 8 equals to 1 ok ada remainder kat sini kan Tapi kita tak boleh tinggalkan dia macam ni tau. Kita kena tukar dia jadi hours. Dan kita kena tambah dekat sini. Dekat 4 ni. Ingat eh. Kalau ada remainder dekat depan ni. Tak boleh. Kena convert jadi hours. So 1. 1 day ni equals to 24 hours kan. So kena tambah 24 kat sini. Ha, tambah kat sini. Okay. Jadilah 28. Sekarang 28 yang kena divide by 4. Okay. So, dalam sifir 4 ada tak 28? Okay, buat lagi sifir 4. Sampai jumpa 28. Ha, ada 28. So, ambil 28. 28 duduk yang ke. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So, kita minus. Habis. So, no remainder. Ingat kan kat sini? Kalau dekat days ni, dekat depan ni, dia ada remainder. Kena convert. Pergi kat sebelah dia. Ha. So, jawapan dia 2 days, 7 hours. 2 days, Sorry, 2 days, 7 hours. Next, question 3. Solve 25 days divide by 8. Write the answer in hours. So, 25 days. Okay, 25 days. Divide uh, by 8. Okay. 25 divide by 8. Kena buat CV 8. Okay, this is uh, 8 times table. 25 ada tak? Tak ada. So, ambil 24. 24 duduk yang ketiga. Then, minus. Dapat uh, remainder 1. Okay, tapi kita tak boleh tinggal dia jadi remainder ya. Ha, nak buat apa? Nak buat apa agak-agak ni? Kalau this, biasanya dia, dia kawan dengan hours kat sini. Ha, so, kita kena tukar ni. One days ni yang remainder ni. One day yang remainder ni kita kena jadi day hour. So one day how many hours? 24. Ha, tu dia 24 kat sini. Ha, boleh faham ya? Eh? Okay. 
Kita dah buat kat sini. Kita dapat remainder dekat day ni. Kita dapat remainder 1. So, kita kena tukar 1 day equals to 24 hours. So, 24. 24 hours ni kena divide lagi dengan 8. Ha, ada 24 kan? Ha, so, ambil 24. 3 again. So, 0, 0. So, kita akan dapat jawapan bahagi dia. 3 days, 3 hours. Tapi, jawapan dia nak dalam hours sahaja. Jadi, kena convert. Yang mana kena convert? 3 days ni. 3 days ni kena convert. Ha, okay, kena convert. So, 3 days equals to how many hours? 1 day, 1 day, 24 hours kan? So, kalau 3 days, 24 times 3. 4 times 3, 12. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7. 72 hours. 3 days equals to 72 hours. So, jawapan ni 20, uh, 72, uh, 72 hours ke? Tak. 72 kena tambah dengan 3 ni. Jangan lupa ya. Uh, so, dapatlah jawapan dia 75 hours. Next question number 4. Involving weeks and days. Okay. 20 weeks. 4 days divided by 6. So, bentuk lazim dia. 20 weeks. 4 days. Divide by 6. So, kena buat 6 times table. Alright. 20 divide by 6. Ada tak 20 dalam sifat 6? Tak ada. Jadi, kita ambil 18. 18 duduk yang ketiga. 20 minus 18 dapat 2. Okay. Kita ada remainder kat sini. Tak boleh tinggal remainder ni. Kena convert jadi days. So, 2 weeks. 2 weeks. How many days? 2 weeks, how many days? 1, 1 week, 7 days. Kalau 2 weeks, 2 times 7 lah. Equals to 14. 14 days. Right? 14 days. So, kena tambah 14 kat sini. Okay. Kena tahu ya, kenapa kita tambah 14? Asalnya dari 2 weeks. 2 weeks, kena tambah dekat days. Sebab 2 week ni remainder. Kita tak boleh tinggal remainder kat sini. Tak boleh tinggal remainder kat sini. Kena tukar jadi days. Tambah dekat yang days yang memang dah sedia ada ni. So, jadi 18. 18 divided by 6 ada ni. Ha. So, 3. Uh, 18. Uh, okay, baru habis. Dah tak ada remainder dah kan? Jawapan dia, 3 weeks, 3 days. Question number 5. 36 weeks, 3 days divided by 5. Okay, tulis dalam bentuk lazim. 36 weeks, 3 days, divide by 5. So, kena ada 5 times table. Alright, 36 weeks, divide by 5. Ada tak 36 dalam sifat 5? Tak ada. So, kita ambil 35. Jadi, 36 minus 35. 35 duduk yang ke 7. So, lebih kat sini. Ha, ada remainder lagi. So, tak boleh tinggal remainder ni. Okay, one week ni kena tukar jadi days. One week equal to seven days kan. So, tambahlah seven kat sini. Ha, ni seven ni. Seven ni asal dia daripada one week. So, dapat ten. Ha, ten kena divide by five. Two. Ten divide by five equals to two. So, jawapan dia seven weeks, two days. Seven weeks, two Days. Right, question number 6 Calculate quotient Quotient ni maksud dia Hasil Bahagi, ok Hasil bahagi kita panggil quotient Kalau hasil darab kita panggil product When 10 weeks Divide by 7 Write your answer in week and days So 10 weeks Divide by 7. So, kena ada 7 times table. So, 10 divide by 7. Dekat dalam sifir 7. Ada tak 10? Tak ada. So, kita ambil tu dalam 7. 7 duduk yang pertama. So, 10 minus 7 equals to 3. Ha, kita ada remainder kat sini. 3. 3 weeks. Okay, 3 weeks kena tukar. Jadi, days. Ha, walaupun dia tak ada days kat sini, kita tambahlah days. So, 3 weeks equals to how many days? 
1 week 7 days 3 weeks 3 times 7 Equals to 21 days So tambahlah 21 kat sini So 21 divide by 7 Ok ada 21 Tulis 21 21 duduk yang ketiga Then minus 0 0 Jawapan dia 1 week 3 days Alright, that's all my explanation about division. Now is your homework, your task for today. The first one is your textbook, page 193, sorry, 163, question A, question B and E. Then your workbook, page 44, question 2, question 3, 4 and 6. So, how many questions all together, class? There are seven questions all together. Macam biasalah. Buat dalam MT1 or MT2. Dah siap. Tolong hantar pada saya, okay? Okay, that's all for today. See you again. Bye. Assalamualaikum.